We are continuing our investigation into Dorchester Jewelers. This is a story that started last month when Dorchester Jewelers customers came forward claiming they were sold false gems or their real ones were swapped for fakes. Yeah, a lot of people paying close attention to this story. Since the first story aired, a lot of people called our newsroom with similar problems, but none have lost as much money as a grieving widow we spoke with. News 2's Macy McLeod joins us in the studio with her story. Macy. Judy Jacobs' husband, Neil, was dying of leukemia. He knew he only had a few years to live and spent them doting on his wife and autistic daughter. But when Judy was handling the estate following Neil's death, she found out the shocking truth about those expensive gifts. I took all my jewelry into three different jewelers to have it appraised, and everything is imitation. Even her engagement ring that Neil bought for her while he was fighting in Vietnam. He was so proud of it, and it was too, you know. He was just a brand new captain. Well, we'd been married 46 years, and that meant so much to me. She says the only time it left her finger was to get the prongs tightened by Jill Henry at Dorchester Jewelers. So not only did she sell stuff that wasn't real, she robbed me. And that robbed my child. Those were investments for her. In all, Neil spent more than $150,000 on jewelry in the years leading up to his death. Jewelry he thought was real. The more he got, the closer I felt like he was to dying. Because he was very frugal. Jewelry he thought he was buying from a friend. I didn't see this coming. She'd be at the house as the Easter Bunny. She'd call and check on Neil. She'd bring presents to Nikki. You'd love, love, love. But it's all gone now. And Judy says it was all fake. How do you do this to somebody who's dying, who has a disabled child? What kind of person does that? There's right, there's wrong, there's legal, there's illegal. This is so immoral. Judy has gone to the authorities and says there is not much that can be done at this point. Our solicitor said you can't prove this criminally because you can't prove that you didn't take those stones to someone else. But I didn't. Judy says she and her attorney are going to continue to push for a criminal case. But if that doesn't work, they will go to civil court. Macy McLeod, News 2.